Let's talk about one of your favorite subjects, huh? We're going to talk about peaches, peaches aren't we? That's right. You oh, like peaches, man. don't you? Dr. Arlie Powell at Auburn University used to say peaches are the queen mm. of the fruit. Queen of the and fruit. And they are. They are, they they are. really, I, really I good. I like that. all kinds of fruit, but uh, peaches are, are super, super good. But they, they have a lot of issues. They, right? are, they are hard to grow. Yes. My hat. It's off to commercial mm -hmm. peach producers. I would agree with that. Because they have insects and diseases. You know, a lot of fruits have insects and diseases. Peaches have one or two insects that can kill them. Kill. And they have <laughs> one or two diseases uh -huh. that can kill them. Wow. And uh, if you don't control those, then, then you're going to have real problems. So let's talk about diseases of peaches, and we're going mm -hmm. to start with brown rot. Okay. Well, brown rot affects the twigs, it'll affect the leaves, and it affects, affects the fruit. On the fruit, it gets its name, <laughs> brown rot, from the way it looks on the fruit. Yeah. The whole peach will turn it brown. It'll start in as, as a little small spot on the uh -huh. peach, and it will spread, and it will eventually envelop the entire peach, the entire, and it's just a brown rot. And on leaves, the way it affects leaves is the spots on the leaves, and the spots will grow. And, and uh, the twigs, uh, discoloration uh, on the twigs, the, the, they'll die. Actually, the fuzz on a peach, the fuzz actually interferes with the, right. the uh, spore okay. attaching. Right. And a nectarine is naked. Right, right. It doesn't have yeah, any fuzz on it. You're and right. so okay. brown okay. rot is worse on, on, uh, on nectarines yeah. than they are on peaches. If you see symptoms of brown rot, uh -oh. too late. Too late. I didn't know say it. So that's why <laughs> we go with preventative fungicide applications on peaches. Okay. Wow. All right. So let's roll over to peach leaf curl. What does that look like? Peach leaf curl is it's pretty self-explanatory. The leaves will, will kind of curl, and and uh, they'll be light, discolored. They'll be yellow, yeah, and and those. and they'll eventually fall off. So let's talk a little bit about phony peach. So what is that? Okay, phony peach is a devastating disease of peaches. Uh, it uh, spends part of its life cycle on a plum tree and part of its life cycle on a peach tree. And uh, it will kill both of them. On tr plum trees, it's called plum leaf scald. Okay. Right. Um, on peach trees, it's phony peach. And the symptom that you'll see, you know, peach leaves are folded, uh -huh. kind of like a boat. Right. Uh -huh. If they open up, and they're flat, and they don't have that fold to them, that's a good indication that you might have phony peach. And it's caused by a rickettsia type organism that's spread by leaf hoppers. Mm. Feeds on a plum tree, and then feeds on a peach tree, and it spreads that organism. Yeah. Uh, that's why we don't recommend planting plum trees next to peach trees, and also even wild plums, if they're close, yeah. can be a vector. Yeah or, or uh, a source of infection. Okay, so let's get to the insect pest. Okay. Curculio. You like to talk about that one a lot. Plum curculio, yeah. the most devastating yeah. uh, insect that uh, affects peaches, plums, and nectarines. Mm -hmm. The symptom of that is, is really easy. On a small yeah. fruit, you'll see a little crescent-shaped scar because the adult will land on the fruit, she'll cut a little opening, and then she'll lay an egg underneath that flap and go on about her business. <laughs> and that egg will hatch, the little larvae, will, or grub, yeah. will uh, burrow throughout the fruit and you know, eventually damage the whole fruit. And so, many, ah. most of the time, the fruit will fall off. But if you go out there, if you haven't been spraying your peaches and you go out there and there's a little crescent-shaped scar uh, on the fruit, it's already infected. So is, yeah, it again, is it pretty easy to see? It's pretty easy to okay. see, very easy Visible? to see. Okay. Very easy to see. Mm -hmm. uh, how about that? From the old plum cuculio. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move to the peach scale. Peach scale is a white, scaly substance. Peach scale is one of the insects that can kill peach trees. Mm -hmm. Every limb that the scale completely encircles will die. If it completely encircles the trunk of the tree, the trunk will die. Now, in our area, here in the Memphis area, there are three generations of peach scale per That's year. Okay. You get further south down toward the Gulf Coast, they have four generations wow. per year. Okay. The crawlers, that, as these generations occur, the crawlers are easy to kill. Okay. The, the malathion will kill them. 
and and but when you see the white adult structures on the plant insecticides can't yeah. get to the scale and they're pretty much ineffective oil mm -hmm. the oils uh, will you know if you spray with oil that will take care of That's the adult but if you if you're at the point where you've already got the adult showing up there you you better get to work with the oil very very quickly <laughs> All right, so let's get to the boar. Peach tree Peach boar, tree insect number two that yeah. can kill your tree. Uh, symptom of a peach tree boar is uh, gum mm. oozing out of the base or the lower trunk of a peach tree. What it is that that tree is trying to flush that boar out. And it's like you get something in your eye, your tears trying to flush it out, but it, can, it, it won't do it. It can't do it. All right, so let's talk about how to treat for these. Okay from UT, okay. UT's uh, Home Orchard Spray Guide. Uh, the cover sprays uh, basically captan yeah. or sulfur plus malathion. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. that's, what, that's what we recommend for cover sprays. Right. Chlorothalonil mm -hmm. is uh, also recommended during, during bloom. Right. To spray fruit trees, you, you do it correctly, you need to go with a, a dormant spray uh, oil uh, during, during dormancy. Okay. At bloom, you need to go in and spray with the cap tan. Do not mix insecticides with your fungicide during Good bloom, point. anytime that's blooming, because we don't want to hurt the honeybees. Right. But, but fungicides don't do that. And it's important to apply fungicides during bloom. Uh, the petal, at petal fall, when most of the petals are falling off, go back in there with, and I would probably mix it up a little bit. You could use cap tan, but sulfur okay. or chlorothalonil is, is recommended at petal fall. When the petals are all off, okay. include your insecticide, your malathion. Right. Uh, so that's where you could could go with a regular home orchard spray that's that's already mixed up for you. I prefer to to mix my own because if you use the same home orchard mm -hmm. spray all the time, you're using the same fungicide all the time, right. and and you you may get some resistance issues. So I, I don't like that. So that's why I would I would have me some Captan and I would have some chlorothalonil. Gotcha. Those are the two that I personally would use. Okay. And so so we talk petal fall, use either Captan or chlorothalonil plus malathion, <laughs> and then when the shuck splits, same thing, Captan or sulfur okay. or chlorothalonil plus malathion, and then when the fruit forms, and this is seven to ten days later. <laughs> either captan or, or sulfur plus malathion, and you do that throughout the growing season. Every seven to 10 days, mm. if it doesn't rain, uh. you can stretch it out to 10 days. Right. If it rains, just assume you didn't spray. You wanna keep a protective coat, protective coat of fungicide, and, 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 and uh, the insecticide really needs to be there for when, to, to meet the plum curculio when she's looking <laughs> for a place to lay her egg. Hopefully there's there's malathion there right. on that little fruit when she lands. Now, it's a lot of spraying. In already. addition to the cover sprays, and, and this is up into you know to close to harvest, sure. you know. Uh, but in addition to control the uh, peach tree borer, you need to use uh, esphenvalerate or gamma cyhalothrin, one of these two insecticides. You spray the trunk and lower uh, limbs of of the peach tree May 31st. June 30th and July 15th, okay. and, and, and that's when the uh, the female's going to yeah. be out there trying to lay eggs on the bark or on yeah. the lower portion of that tree. And then you can do an, another application after harvest. You don't want to apply this within 14 days of harvest, so depending on the variety that you've got. Now, there are a lot of problems you don't see with peaches if you go with a regular spray program. Right, but you definitely have to have a spray program. You've got to have a spray program. Thank you, Mr. D. That's real good information. As always, good stuff. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.